Hi Dollar Divas, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jessica and I love to do a lot of dollar store oriented makeup and shopping content, so if that is your thing, you're definitely in the right place. Please take just one second, hit that subscribe button and become what I like to call one of my Dollar Divas. And of course, my returning Dollar Divas, thank you so much for coming on back for another video. So today is a Dollar Tree haul and it's a pretty massive Dollar Tree haul for me. I spent $45. Which, like I said, I shop at the Dollar Tree often, but I don't usually spend that much money in one whack. But I stumbled across yet another new line of makeup from LA Colors. It's called the Nude Glow Collection, and I picked up a lot of items, plus a couple other essentials. So I'm going to be sharing that with you today. And also, excuse my makeup, it is like a little heavier than normal because I am getting ready to go to work. If you're new to my channel, I'm a performer and I've got a couple shows today, so I am all done up for my show. I don't have my hair on yet, but anyways, as always, I will have relevant playlists and videos down below in the description box. That way, if you enjoy this video, you can binge watch some other content. So without any further chit chat, let's just go ahead and get into today's video. So this is all the makeup I hauled, but I do have a couple of just kind of other items that I wanted to get out of the way first. Also, if you hear birds, it's because my window is open and my window is like right there. So <laughs> if you're hearing any birds, it is just from outside. So I, I've been needing these, but I've been forgetting to pick them up. I need a new pair of dishwashing gloves. These were the size medium and I can't really remember if they're small or not or large. And if that's the size that I normally get. But anyway, I know these will be fine. They're the Scrub Buddies brand. They're heavy duty. And I do purchase these pretty often. They will last me a long time. Different kinds of rubber gloves. Of course, $1.25 is a steal unless you buy like a big um, order of them on Amazon. You can probably get them a little cheaper per pair. But yeah, they last a while. I always wear out my right one first. So yeah, anyway, so picked up some of those. I also needed to replenish my tissues like in my car and in my purse. So I bought a three pack of the Kleenex On The Go Ultra. And I actually rather buy like the three pack of these versus like the eight or six pack of like the non brand or the Dollar Tree brand. You know, just these are a much better tissue. So I feel like I can literally use one or sometimes I have to use two of the other kind. So yeah, just restocking these for my car and my purse. Then I thought these were cute right here. It's just a little two pack of these little kind of white little storage containers. They get the rubber in them and let's see. It says on the label it says they're drawer organizers. It's from the Essentials brand. Three and a quarter by three and a quarter inch and two inches deep. So I thought those would come in handy. I don't think I'd ever seen that size before, so I wanted to pick those up. And then you know how I love the reusable bags from the Dollar Tree. And I thought this one here was so, so cute. It's it's a Decent sized bag. It's not as deep as the black one that I purchased and it does not have a front pocket But a nice little beach bag or something that I can take out to the pool They actually had a blue one that had seashells They had a pink one that had like flowers and then they had a yellow one that had lemons and this one here has like the palms on them And I just I love these little like canvas bags. I buy them all the time They do last a good while too. So I thought that one was really cute. So wanted to pick it up so now on to the makeup. In my last Dollar Tree walkthrough, I showed you all of like the new Ioni lashes and I did pick up a few this time around. So I picked up the style Light Cat Eye and these are from the Electric Jungle Collection. These are Wispy Doll. These are Voluminous Doll. These are Round Dramatic Volume. And these are Round Volume. And they had several styles. I just picked these out because they seemed a little bit different than the ones that I normally get. They also have some more natural styles as well if you don't like something that dramatic. Obviously I wear dramatic most of the time. <laughs> and then I ran out of all of my Ioni lash glue. I think I have one more tube that's almost gone. So I picked up two of the Ioni Everlasting Lash Glues. Then I found a couple other different eyelashes. I think in my last Get Ready With Me, I used a brand of lashes called Diamond. And I found another set of those. These look like they're left over from Valentine's Day, but I don't really know. But this is what they look like. They don't look super promising, but I did want to try them because they were different. I don't know if Be Mine is the style or if it's the numbers 98679. But yeah, they look really dramatic. Probably going to be a little plasticky, but definitely wanted to buy them and try them. And then I've never seen new color lashes. They look like the same packaging as Sassy Chic, but these are the new color 
false lashes. It has the number two up in the corner, so I don't know if that's the style. They're a little bit more of a natural style, a little bit more similar to what I used in my last uh, Get Ready With Me, so wanted to pick those up and try them as well. Then moving on to more of the makeup, you know me, I'm always trying to find a mascara that I like at the Dollar Tree, have yet to really find it. The Ioni so far is the best, but um, they did have these LA Colors Nude Glow Mascaras. Do I think they're any different than any of their other mascara? Probably not. But they had two different mascaras. This was the Extreme Volume and Length, and then they had another one, but I picked this one up. And then I also decided to go with the primer, and we'll see what this pair can't do. I don't know. I don't have super high hopes, but saw them and wanted to try them. I think I've been calling this Nude Glow, but it's actually Nude Glam, <laughs> so excuse me for that. And then they had this right here. It's the Glam Lip Scrub. This is in the scent Vanilla. And then they had a couple different flavors of these. I got Watermelon. They had Strawberry and one other flavor as well, but it's the Glam Lip Mask. I have never used a lip mask. So I'm really excited to try these. Um, my lips are always chapped. So I'm gonna give these two things a try and definitely let you know what I think. Then they have this. It's called the Color Made Easy Bronzer Blush. So it's this kind of multicolored, I don't know, bronzer blush product. And it's actually from the brand, it, and this is in the shade Pink Glow, and it's from the brand Femme Couture, which I believe, if I'm not mistaken, is or was sold at Sally Beauty Supply. Definitely comment down below if you've seen this brand at your Dollar Tree or any other products by them at your Dollar Tree. This is the only product they had. So here is what it looks like on the inside. Maybe I can try to swatch some of these or one of each of these rather. So here are the swatches, really pretty on their own and probably together are gonna be really, really, really gorgeous. So like I said, I guess you can wear this as a blush. It'd be really hard to go in and get that bronzer, but, but we will definitely try it in a future Get Ready With Me. And y'all, I get so excited. You know I get excited when LA Colors comes out with like quads or like the duos that I recently tried in my last Get Ready With Me because the quality is always really, really good, especially compared to the LA Colors eyeshadow you normally find at the Dollar Tree, which can be a little tricky to work with. But they had some new quads. I bought one of each. You get Smooth Jazz and Pink Love. And you've got Birthday Suit and Bare Beauty. So they come in very similar packaging to um, about two or three years ago. LA Colors came out with a Beauty by the Decades line. And it's very, very similar packaging. Oh my goodness, so creamy. The mattes in these palettes usually never disappoint either. So there are the swatches of that palette. I'm actually gonna be doing a, like a Dollar Tree wedding makeup look. And I had some products I was gonna use, but honestly, I think these palettes here are perfect. So if you are getting married this year and you need some like new makeup and you're gonna do it yourself, pick up one of these little palettes, especially if you're on a budget, you know? I mean, seriously. Some people, you know, might only wear makeup for special occasions like their wedding or something like that. So you might not have a collection to speak of. And so these quads are gonna be really, really, really good quality and very affordable. You wouldn't have to spend a lot of money at all. So this is the Bare Beauty Quad. Again, super pretty. There's like those mauve shimmers that the camera doesn't even do them justice, I promise. And then there's really rich um, taupe and kind of a coppery brown matte. So, so, so pretty. And that's what the actual palette looks like without the glare, so gorgeous. And then this is Birthday Suit, just a really pretty nude color story. Oh my goodness, how beautiful. That one there is absolutely stunning. Very similar to, this one here is very similar to um, one of the quads they came up with last year. So these other ones are kind of different, but see these two here, this is one of those other quads you've seen it on my channel right here, the last time they came out with them. See, these are almost identical in color story. So if you missed out on this, run to your Dollar Tree and try to pick this up right here. So here are swatches side by side of the, the new glow quad and birthday suit is on the top. And then the older LA Colors quad in bare that I purchased last year is on the bottom. So you can see pretty much exactly the same. Then this one here is also really similar to the smoky quad that they came out with. Again, came in this packaging right here. See those have pretty much an identical color story. So if you missed out on this one, and you want that color story, definitely pick this up for sure. 
I remember when I did my get ready with me with that one that the white was um, a little bit more of a shimmer and it was my least favorite out of the four quads. So I guess I say all that to say that these two quads right here are the same as these two right here. So if you missed out on these, definitely go pick these up. However, these two quads right here from last year, the Heat and the Rose, are different than these two right here. So these here are pretty much new. So that's good to know. Glad we could get that out of the way. <laughs> so then they had a bronzer. This is the Nude Glow Bronzer in Siren. And they had two blushes. I bought the two colors that they had. This is in Sultry and this is in Peachy Keen. There's also a highlighter and this is in the shade Glowing. That was the only shade that they had there. And that seemed to be the only shade in the display. So there is the highlighter, very gold, really, really pretty. There is the bronzer right next to it. There is the blush in Sultry, gorgeous. And there is the other blush in Peachy Keen. So, so pretty. So yeah, I'm super excited to try the blushes, the bronzer, and the highlight in my next Get Ready With Me. So I went against my better judgment and bought five eyeliners. <laughs> Normally I don't buy that many. So they did have other shades, but I just picked up these five. I think there were like two or so more. Now it says that they're shimmer eyeliners. I don't really know how much they'll shimmer, but we will definitely see. I'm gonna swatch all five. So here they are, of course, you know, not the creamiest, although they do make a good swatch. The bottom one there is in what's called pearly white, although it's a little less white, a little bit more of like a champagne. It seems to be the hardest to work with, but the silver and that bottom shade there, the pearly white, are kind of shimmery, like that silver is a little bit metallic. And the purple as well has a little hint of shimmer, but the brown and the black don't really seem to have any shimmer, so, so I don't know, we'll see. We'll definitely be trying them out, and at the very least, I can use them for lip liners or something. I don't know, wanted to try them though. And they had several colors of these as well, but I picked up two. They're the Nude Glow Auto Lip Liners. And I got the shades Insight and Inspiration. So I kind of picked the two colors that seemed like darker than my lip color, because that's really what I look for in a lip liner. So there they are. So we will definitely be trying them out. But they did have several lipsticks and I didn't buy any because I think either last year or the year before, I had purchased some similar looking lipsticks. So these are actually what I have from when I purchased the collection before. I don't know if these, I don't know if they have these same colors now, I'll have to double check. But of course they're nude colors. So I got these two here, these nude glam lipsticks. The top one is on Teddy and the bottom one is called Bear With Me. I think I've used this one here in a Get Ready With Me. That one's Bear With Me and the other one I have not. So when I use this makeup, I will use these right here. And I really, I have so many lip products, I really didn't need to buy anything more. So like I said, I'm just gonna use the ones that I already have. So I'll pop some other content up here on the screen. That way, if you enjoyed this video, you can go check out some of my other content. But before you do, make sure you like this video, share this video with anybody you think may enjoy it, anybody that loves Dollar Tree shopping or Dollar Store shopping or makeup. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.